Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Arden of Faversham and today we get to hear from Alice in Act 4, Scene 4. Now Alice, as you remember, is Arden's wife and she's in love with Mosby and she has hired several people to try to kill Arden so that he will be out of the picture and she can just be with Mosby. But they have made four attempts on his life, five attempts on his life, and all of them have been unsuccessful. There was an unsuccessful poisoning, the assassin got bonked in the head by a window, it was, it was too foggy outside, Arden was too smart to eat the poison soup. So Alice is getting increasingly frustrated with the fact that Arden isn't dead yet. So she got the poison crucifix from Clark, but after the most recent botched assassination attempt, she and Mosby decided that they would run into Arden in the streets, they would sort of provoke a little bit of a duel, during which Arden would get killed, and huzzah, everything is great. So they're all good and happy with that. Meanwhile, there's also a bunch of people who are angry that Arden inherited all of the lands of the Abbey of Faversham, including Green and Reed. And Reed has cursed the lands that used to be his, but have now been given to Arden, and is, is sticking to his guns on that. He's like, I don't care that they're cursed forever, let them be cursed forever. But at, once Reed left earlier in this scene, uh, Mosby and Alice come in and they're, they're linked arms and Arden sees them. He's like, what are you doing? And she's like, oh, nothing. And gives Mosby a kiss on the cheek, which sends Arden into a blind rage. He draws his sword. Mosby draws his sword. Franklin draws his sword. They start fighting. Alice starts shouting, oh my God, you're going to kill my husband, which is the cue for Will and Shakebag to come in and join the fray. So there's this big fight going on during which Shakebag and Mosby both get injured. And both of them end up leaving stage shortly after like, oh my goodness, I'm wounded. So they leave the stage and Alice turns to Arden and she's like, we were kidding around. We were being nice, like greeting you, being playful and cute and like we're such good friends and he's your friend too. Like what are you, what were you even thinking? Like this was a joke. And Franklin's like, mm -hmm, yeah, nice joke. And Alice says, couldst thou not see us friendly smile on thee when we joined arms and when I kissed his cheek? Hast thou not lately found me over kind? Didst thou not hear me cry, they murder thee? Called I not help to set my husband free? No. <laughs> Ears and all are witched. Oh, me accursed to link and liking with a frantic man. Henceforth, I'll be thy slave, no more thy wife. For with that name, I never shall content thee. If I be merry, thou straightways thinks me light. If sad, thou sayest the sullens trouble me. If well attired, thou thinks I will be gadding. If homely, I seem sluttish in thine eye. Thus am I still and shall be while I die. Poor wench, abused by thy misgovernment. So again, she's making a big scene out of this, similar to before when he didn't want to eat the soup and she's like, oh, I can't do anything right. That's basically what she's doing here. She's like, this was a joke and didn't I call for help for you? But of course you're just like crazy jealous man who flies off the handle and no matter what I do for you, it's the wrong thing. I can't dress right. I can't have the right attitude. I like nothing that I do is right. Nothing that I do is good enough for you. I am never going to live up to your expectations. And Arden, as Arden does, listens to this and very quickly changes his tune. He's like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. How, how can I make it up to you? And she's like, you can't. Like if you were actually, like Mosby's your friend, if you were actually Mosby's friend, you would be going after him as he goes and gets bandaged up and see if he's doing okay. Like you're, you're just being a terrible person right now. And she start, she continues to rip into Arden, who continues to back down like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And Franklin, finally, as Arden is about to go and check and see how Mosby's doing, Franklin is like, Arden, wake up. Why are you chasing after the man who's cuckolding you? And Alice is like, excuse me, you have no proof of that. And Franklin's like, mm -hmm, yeah, sure, we have no proof of that. Like, Arden, come on, seriously, you can't see what's going on here? Because Franklin can. He's like the audience. He knows what's going on. And he's getting frustrated that Arden caves every time Alice says boo. 
And Arden is like, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Everything's good. We're going to go check on him. My loving wife, Alice, will go with me. So Alice and Michael and Arden all leave. And Franklin has one more moment on the stage by himself where he's just like, the man's an idiot. He can't see it. You know, it's, it's that whole thing of like, you can't tell what it is when it's happening to you but you can see it happening to other people. Like you can't tell, you, your friends who have crushes on each other can't tell that the other one has a crush on them, but it's so plain to everybody else that can see it, except the opposite because Alice does not have a crush on Arden. She's manipulating him, she's gaslighting him, all of that kind of stuff. And Franklin is like, it, it's, it's because it's his wife. If it was anybody other than his wife that was treating him like this, saying these things to him, he wouldn't be buying it. But because it's his wife, So anyway, that's the end of the scene. <laughs> Franklin is frustrated. Arden and Alice are still playing nice. Mosby is wounded. We're not sure how bad. Shake's, Shake Bag is wounded. We're not sure how bad. But Arden still lives. And there's people that are still angry about that and about him having all these lands and, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's the end of that scene, but we still have a ways to go and plenty of things to figure out on the way there. So come on back tomorrow for more. I'll see you then. Mwah.